Now it's the fourth week in our Healthy in a Hurry series and this morning nutritionist Del Pinnock is showing us how to swap those greasy Saturday night takeaways for a healthier option. There's no combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard. No song that I could sing, but I can try for your heart. You're very welcome to the Village at Lions. This is our fourth edition of our Healthy in a Hurry series. And I am, of course, joined by the medicinal chef himself, Dale Pinnock. Good morning to you, Dale. And to you, and to you. This is uh, a meal after a long, busy day at the office or wherever you've been. Yep. And you want something healthy and tasty without kind of without stressing price. too much. Absolutely. I mean, this is, this is always a big issue for me. Because, I mean, I'm running around all over the place all the time. When you've had a really Really long day the last thing you want to do is spend hours in the kitchen making something that's really really laborious but if you want to eat well there's loads of quick fixes there's loads of meals that you can make in a matter of minutes that taste amazing and this is a perfect example. once you have the right ingredients yes. in the house okay so what is this this What's is the dish this is my take on a pad thai okay so basically nice. like thai stir fried noodles Love. okay and it is really really quick and easy First, Where are you starting? Yeah, with, with all of these kind of Asian dishes, you always start with your aromatics. You like your Asian influences, don't you? Big influence on me, yeah. I've spent a lot of time out there, like, you know, sort of Japan and Malaysia and Hong Kong. And so so garlic. Some, some garlic. Garlic's incredible, fantastic for immunity. The oils in garlic that give it that really strong aroma can only be removed from the body via one root or one root alone, and that's via the breath. That's why you, it can sometimes hang your breath sometimes. As you breathe them out, it can pick off certain bugs and viruses, which is quite interesting. Fantastic for cardiovascular health. Quite a lot of people health. take a garlic supplement, don't they? They do for cardiovascular health. Because food and nutrition can affect your body in every conceivable way, in every single system. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put diesel into a petrol engine and stand there scratching your head because your car cocked out. You'd understand why. Yeah. Same deal with your body. Put the right things into it and you'll... It's a really good analogy, actually. It would have taken me a lot more time to chop that, that garlic clove, I'll be honest, Dale. Chop it quite coarsely. You know, okay. I mean, that's, that's not particularly fine. You can go super fine with it. Chop it quite coarsely. So we're going in with some red chilli. Okay. Again, if we if talked about chilies before, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. A lot of the heat is actually in the seeds. Right. Okay. So if you don't like things too hot, just discard the seeds. Really, really Get easy. Get rid of the seeds. And the smaller ones are the really dangerous ones, aren't they? In general, yeah. There are one or two varieties that thankfully aren't that common, where the bigger ones are actually quite hot. Mm -hmm. But you don't find those in the supermarkets very often. So as a general rule of thumb, if you get the bigger ones, they won't be as hot. They're a little more mild. So okay. keeping those quite whole, so it's. It looks nice. It does, I love Pure the aesthetics, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a spring onion. I'm actually using the greens on this as well. Okay. Chopping the white bit really, really fine. Why is that? Just so you get more flavour out of it. Okay. Yeah. And then these bits, leaving them a little bigger. So you see, it's literally just throwing these things together. Now, whenever you use aromatics like this, you must season them at the beginning, otherwise you lose all the flavour. Oh, it smells really? great, then you go and taste it, and you say, mm, it's just a bit flat. Okay, so, so season it early in, on. Season it right at the beginning, just a little bit of sea salt, okay. and then you're going to be cooking it on a, a pretty high heat. Okay. You're not going to be cooking it to death. But yeah, we don't, enough, want, we don't want anything to go all soggy, do we? No, just long enough for the, uh, for the onion to actually start to get slightly transparent. Okay, that's as, well that's a good guide. So whilst that's warming up, I'm just going to chop up some of these. The shiitake mushrooms. These things are incredible. Now, where do we buy these, Dale? Oh, you get them anywhere. You get them anywhere. They're a really common ingredient now. I mean, five years ago, it'd be, uh, it'd be quite specialist. But now you see them in supermarkets. Every the supermarket. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, really easy to come by. And all of these recipes are from your book, of course. Absolutely, from Healthy Every Day. Healthy Every Day. Yeah, it's just showing you practical ways to take steps towards eating healthier. Yeah. So noodles it's, going in. So noodles. These are like these pre-cooked already. Okay. Um, if you're going to cook them, they take a matter of minutes. They're literally just like two minutes simmered. Most varieties now, you just pour a little bit of warm water on it and that's it. And it's done. And yeah. it's done. Try and mix everything in as much as you can at this point. And then we'll start to build some more of the flavour up. So going in with a dash of soy sauce. And this is perfect for veggies. Perfect for veggies, absolutely. Mm. I mean, you can, you can add seafood to it. You could add... You could add chicken, you could add tofu, there's lots of different things mm. that you can add. Put a little bit of lime juice in there, back on the heat just to warm it through. You just make it look far too easy, Dale. That's because it is easy. <laughs> it's really, really, really easy. So just get this in the middle of there. And we were talking about the ingredients, actually. All of these ingredients have come from Aldi. So it's not like anyone has to go off to specialist health food, food stores. No, you don't Dale. have to sort of trek into the Himalayas yeah, with, it's a, all with very a Sherpa real. to find your ingredients. <laughs> 
So a little bit of coriander on there, so maybe. Garnish. Oh, and peanuts. Some peanuts on there as well, oh, yeah. Nice. That's a nice addition. There is no now we are of course in the village at Lyons and uh, we're in the kitchen where the cookery courses take place so if you fancy taking part all of the details are on the website villageatlyons.com